Carry Recorder has a really good feature when it comes to just writing text, but when it comes to writing programs, it becomes a little bit of nuisance. And I'll show you that at the end of this video. But for now, let me go ahead and demo this when it comes to like writing code. Okay, so I have PyCharm opened up and I'm gonna be using Python. And I'm just gonna make a really simple program that prints out the word dog. But first I'm gonna make a function. And when making a function, I'm not gonna type in the word def like manually. I'm actually gonna chord it because I made a chord for this, which is this. Next, I'm gonna chord the word animal, which is going to be the function name right there. And then I'm gonna make an open and close parentheses. And then of course I'm gonna close this with a colon. Next, I'm gonna chord the word return right there. And I'm gonna chord the word dog. Here we go. Next, I'm gonna go down to the main function right here and we're gonna print out the output from this function right here. And I'm gonna chord the word print because I made this as well. It's just PRI. And then I'm gonna call that function. Boom, okay. All right, if we run this, hopefully it's gonna work. Boom, if you see right here, it printed out the word dog. Okay, well, let's make this interesting and we'll make a loop that's gonna call this function multiple times, like 50 times. So I'm gonna chord the word def. I'm gonna call this function loop and I have a chord for that word as well, which is just LOP. And then I'm gonna chord the word for, type the word I, chord the word in, chord the word range, which is a custom chord that I made as well. And we're gonna make this uh, 50, five zero. And then we're gonna chord the word print, and then call the function animal, all right? Since we don't need this print command anymore, we're just gonna delete it, and then we're gonna call the function name loop, that's it. And hopefully this works if we rerun it. Boom, so it printed out the word dog multiple times. Here's one of the minor inconvenience that I encounter when it comes to coding with the care quarter. Let's say I have the function name without, and then I have the argument who. So what it does is that if there's a character before the chord, it's going to override the character. In this case, it overwrite the character in front of it too. This is a feature in the care quarter. And I'm gonna show you what I mean. Let's say I keep making this mistake and I wanna chord the word them and then I finally get it. So all the mistakes that I made are going to be overwritten by the right word. But when it comes to coding right here, it becomes a problem. The way to mitigate this is just by making a space right here and then type in your argument. I mean, it's pretty crass, but like, you know, hopefully the guys at Care Quarter are going to address this. I've seen someone already mention it in the Discord chat. So hopefully this is going to be fixed in the next firmware update. All right, guys, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll see you next time.